Hello everyone, today is a special video tutorial. We are outdoor. And why are we outdoor? Because I am going to replicate something which you can do at home during the summer months. Last year, I encouraged you to start your own coffee business using instant coffee. Today, if you are planning to start earning money from home, this time you can do that with Thai milk tea. In a previous video tutorial, I told you everything you should know about Thai milk tea. This time, it is going to be actual. I'm going to be a seller for the day and I have some customers that will be waiting to try my Thai milk tea. Now, I have learned Thai milk tea over the years and also I've gone to a formal training about Thai milk tea. But regardless of what training, what, regardless of what video tutorial, I, I try and watch every time. Each time the taste is different. Thai milk tea is very, very particular in the use of the tea itself, the milk, the sugar. And today we are going to make the Thai milk tea as if you have your mobile cafe just outside your house this is in my garage and also near the market or wherever you can set up a table and you can start selling Thai milk tea there's going to be a simple method and it's going to be simple ingredients you can start earning money from home now because it is scorching hot it's really about 42 degrees here at the moment allow me to use my sunglasses for those wishing to do a mobile cafe at home or near home, watch this video tutorial. Now, here are the secrets that you need to know if you want to make a success of your Thai milk tea. First, you must get the right tea. There are many varieties available now in the market. You can go with the original, but the original is not as strong as new blends. I'm using my own blend of Thai milk tea. Next is the condensed milk. Different brands also give you different tastes. Carnation versus this teapot, local brand, they both taste different so whatever condensed milk you are using you might need to adjust your recipe next is evaporated milk now the success or the secret ingredient to making a good Thai milk tea is not really with the condensed milk it is with evaporated milk you can take out condensed milk but not evaporated milk can you use fresh milk instead of evaporated milk the taste will not be the same this is the one that brings out the taste in your Thai milk tea. And last but not the least, it is unfortunately sugar. If you use sugar instead of just plain condensed milk, the taste is sharper somehow. Don't ask me why, but it is the truth. You use real sugar instead of just sweetening it with condensed milk, you get a different taste. Sharper, sweeter, and more tasty. That is what we are going to do today. We are going to use three supplementary ingredients from the main ingredients, which is the Thai tea. We're going to use condensed milk, evaporated milk, and sugar. What we're going to show you here today is the basics. So this is traditional. It's not something like posh that you make adjustments when you serve it in posh co coffee shops or even more premium coffee shops. This is the real thing. For my milk syrup fans, this is not the time to make milk syrup because if you are outdoor, it's very hot. You don't really want to make milk syrup in advance. Your milk could spoil. So pour it directly out of can. So for the tools, I will need a tea sock strainer. I'm going to make bulk brewing, so it's going to be a large tea sock. I will need two pitchers. You can use aluminum pitchers. These are the authentic Thai pitchers. You need a tea scoop or a coffee scoop. This one is about four teaspoons per one coffee scoop. You need your cups. This time I'm going to make 22 ounces cups or 24 ounces, 700 ml. And also I am going to need my tongs here. This is very important to squeeze the juice out of your tea. We will need some straw. We will need some um, my mixing spoon. And also we need a kettle. So we need a kettle because we need to warm our water or boil our water. If you are in a place where there is no electricity, you can use a gas burner to, to boil your water. It's as simple as that. Watch carefully. This is how you do it in Thailand. I'm going to start by boiling the water. And here is my assistant, uh, Miss Boa. She will be assisting me because I will be serving about 30 people. Well, actually, there's only about five painters at home. Two are on leave, so there will only be three of them. So they are my paid customers. Let's start by making our brew tea. Whilst our water is boiling, let's prepare our tea. One liter is about six cups. And normally I use one scoop for one cup. That means I'm going to use six scoops of this 
into my T-self drainer. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can tell you now that it is boiling hot where I am. So this is going to sell this summer. Okay, now six scoops of tea in here and we are going to wait for our hot water. It's so exciting to be selling outdoor. Well, my water is now stopped boiling. I'm going to use one liter just to make sure I've got the right a proportion of water it is very hot my kettle is very hot okay one liter of water i'll need my assistant to help me to pour one liter of water to me oh wow what do you know it's exactly one liter so i'm going to first pour it in my tea stock strainer with the tea just about that much I'm going to let the tea bloom for about 30 seconds, not too long. Whilst I'm talking to you, it's blooming. And then, now pour your water high. Now this you have to be very careful. Pour the water high and then low. Now do it again. Pour high and then low. The reason for that is to get that delicious smelling Thai milk tea. And then low now this is the tricky part after this you can soak it for a bit here but because I am going to serve it and people are now my customers are waiting for me I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to squeeze the tea out of my bag So the yield is about 900. We lost about 100 ml of tea. Now that we have our Thai tea ready, it is still hot because it was boiling and we only poured about four to five times. This is the first secret. You put the sugar right in. Now this is about 900 ml and that's about six cups. So I am going to put six of these scoops. Well, actually tablespoon, you can put six tablespoons of sugar one two this is a scoop so I'm using less than a scoop three four five six it's easy enough to remember because you use six scoops of Thai tea and then you also use six tablespoons of sugar this technique makes your tea tastes sharper, sweeter, and also it cuts your cost because you will use less milk. After this, all the other ingredients are wet so you don't need to make your tea hot. That means you can keep this and wait for your customers to come in and just keep pouring every time you have to serve a customer. I am waiting for my customers. Chai in, chai in. So I'm going to use the regular recipe, which is the 200 ml of tea. And because she said she wants it sweet, so we're going to put 20 ml of condensed milk. Look at me, 20 ml of condensed milk, and also the same equivalent amount of evaporated milk. So that's easy enough to remember. 20, 20. And this is exactly the color that I am looking for. Vibrant orange, not pale orange. Okay, so this is my cup full of ice. 
22 ounces or 24 ounces and I am ready to serve this. Perfect. Nong chim loco, boko aloy lima aloy na. Ni. Tao kun ka. Tao pai. To to to. Next one, the same 200 ml of tea. One noy, one ma, lua, one pocketi. One pocketi. He wants it the standard as well. So it's the same recipe. 200 ml of Thai milk tea. Of Thai tea. And then 20 ml of the condensed milk. This condensed milk is very sweet. So you use less for more. That means you don't need to use a lot. And 20 ml of evaporated milk. Perfect color. Aloy ma? And I am ready to serve my next customer. And once again, it is perfect. Chile cut. Con, con. This is for him. Long chim do aloy ma? One. Aloy. Aloy. Thank you. Next one. Con to, to, to. One noy, one pocketi. Huh? One noy, he, he wants it to be less sweet. Okay, this is my good looking painter. They've been here at home for the last month. One noy. Um, okay, less sweet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same amount of milk, but I'm going to reduce the condensed milk. So, instead of 20 ml, I'm going to put 10 ml of condensed milk. And then put 30 ml of evaporated milk. So we're using the same proportion of milk, which is 40 ml together. 20, 20, this time is 10, 30. So there you go. Beautiful color of Thai milk tea. And let's see, I have here my cup full of ice. So easy to make. You know, it doesn't take a lot of gadgets. This is all you need. These are all you need to start your business. And there is your... Perfect Thai milk tea. Dia tong cium na. Ma tung ni, lor lor ni, kita tong mak ay kai. Lor cium du. Yang tidak kau ni. Aloy. Aloy. You have to say that. I paid him to say that. Okay. Finally, our last customer. This is the thirtieth customer. One noy, one tamada, one one. One noy. Okay, so he also wants it less sweet. So I'm going to make 200 ml same. Now I think my tea is only good for four cups because they are large cups. Okay, so again, less sweet. So 10 ml of condensed milk. And 30 ml of evaporated milk. So this is the second secret. You don't reduce the amount of your milk. You just adjust which one is more, evaporated milk or condensed milk. Okay? And there's no extra gadget like a shaker or anything. You just use a stirring spoon and pour your drink into your cup. And if you want to help them make it really cold instantly, you just give it a short stare and then serve. Chim do one okay, my hand. Oh, wow, I paid him more. <laughs> I paid him more. <laughs> So there you go. It seems that with 22 ounces cup, my one liter didn't go a long way. It's only four cups of 22 ounces. But see how easy it is to make your business at home or even along the street cafes. You don't need so many gadgets, very, very small, uh, very, very little 
investment required. And I really had such a great time today. And once again, don't forget the secrets that I have told you in this video tutorial. Make sure that you apply them when you start selling your Thai milk tea wherever you are. So shout out to my viewers in India, Indonesia, Philippines, even Nigeria. Start your own Thai milk tea business along the street or from home. So that's all I want to share with you today. I have so much fun selling my Thai milk tea here locally. Next time I am going to sell it out there and you are going to have to pay for it. Thank you so much for being with me today. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.